Choosey Gatwell will make his first full appearance as the current Doctor in the 2023 special airing over the festive period. This will be preceded by an appearance in at least one of the David Tennant's 60th anniversary specials, and will be followed by a full eight-episode series in early 2024. Joining him from his very first adventure will be Millie Gibson playing his companion, Ruby Sunday, and together they make up the two series regulars. In addition to the regular cast, there are also three confirmed members of a recurring cast. One of these is Anita Dobson playing Mrs. Flood, or potentially Mrs. Blood. Another recurring cast member is Michelle Greenidge, who is potentially playing Ruby's adoptive mother, although that isn't confirmed, and Gemma Redgrave is returning as Kate Stewart. There are also many people who have been announced as members of the guest cast. The most significant of these for Doctor Who fans is the return of Bonnie Langford as Melanie Bush, who will be appearing in episodes 7 and 8, the two-part finale. Also in these episodes will be actor Lenny Rush playing a character called Morris. Anura and Bernard will be playing the mysterious Roger Ap Gwilliam. Drag Race star Jinx Monsoon was announced to be playing a villain in the series with a musical motif. Jonathan Groff of Frozen fame was announced to be playing a character in a Regency era set episode, and Indira Varma was announced to be playing the Duchess in that same Regency set episode. So from this point onwards we're going to go somewhat chronologically through the series, starting with the 2023 Christmas special. This episode will be directed by Mark Tondroy, who previously directed The Ghost Monument and Rosa for series 11, and will of course be written by showrunner Russell T. Davis. This will be the first full episode with Shooter Gatter as the current Doctor, and will be the introduction to Millie Gibson as Ruby Sunday. And it will introduce two members of the recurring cast, those being Anita Dobson and Michelle Greenidge. Outside of them, no more cast are known, and there's not really a general plot known for the episode either, however there are a plethora of filming photos we got for this episode. Something I want to mention here is whilst previous Doctors had a sort of standardised look, so while parts may change, the general components and silhouette remain the same, Shooter Gatwa's 15th Doctor has a completely different costume every single episode. And the filming photos for this story show his costume in this one. That consists of a long brown leather coat, a stripy orange jumper, blue trousers which look similar to the 13th Doctors but aren't, and some trainers. The filming photos we got for this story showed the Doctor and Ruby in a snowy graveyard outside a church. The Doctor was running along and even in one photo appeared to be crying. He was also getting in and out the TARDIS as well. A second batch of photos from the special showed what appeared to be Ruby Sunday's house. It also had Anita Dobson interacting with the Doctor as well. And again, him just getting in and out of the TARDIS. Whilst Russell T Davis has been hesitant to nail down a specific date for the airing of this episode, stating only that it will be airing over the festive season, which he claims can mean anything from Christmas Eve to New Year's Day, there's clearly a lot of Christmas theming going on in these set photos, so even if the episode doesn't ultimately end up airing on Christmas Day itself, expect a lot more Christmas elements in it than you would in your typical New Year's special. So moving on to the actual series itself, we're going to go through these in production block order, starting with block 1, consisting of episodes 4 and 5. Five, which will be directed by Dylan Holmes Williams. Episode 4 is believed to have been written by Russell T Davis, which he described as one of the best things he's ever made, and episode 5 is believed to have been written by Stephen Moffat. Stephen Moffat's episode is rumoured to involve the Doctor getting marooned on some sort of alien landmine and Ruby having to go off on her own to save him, pictured here with the photos of the Doctor in an orange raincoat and red beanie, but beyond that we don't know which filming images correlate to which episode in this block, so I'm going to talk about them all together. This block features a and Bernard as Roger Ap Gwilliam, who is the leader of a political party called Albion. The slogan of this party, Bigger Bolder Britain, was featured on lots of posters and things around Cardiff, where the episode is believed to be set. There were lots of supporters wearing red caps and also posters claiming that Anur and Bernard's Roger Ap Gwilliam was the quote-unquote space saviour. This episode is also the one to feature Gemma Redgrave as Kate Stewart, pictured here talking to Ruby Sunday in a cafe setting. Another set of photos revealed a new alien which I like to call the Big Slug, although officially it's known as the Hargaven. Uh oh, big mistake from me, it's not actually the Hargaven, the Hargaven's something different, it is called the Gastronaut. It was in a university setting and it went around eating, absorbing, doing something to these people. And this also involves a company called Fine Time whose logo was pictured on set. This block also seemed to have a heavy emphasis on Millie Gibson as Ruby Sunday and not so much Shooty Gatra as the Doctor, which was quite interesting. Block 2 consisted of the 2023 Christmas special, which we've already discussed, so I move on to Block 3, which consists of Episode 1 and Episode 3, and was directed by Julianne Robinson. Although it's not been confirmed, it's safe to say Episode 1 was probably written by Russell T. Davis. 
However, outside of that, these are the episodes we know the least about. They were filmed mainly in studio, which means out of the series, these two are most likely set on an alien planet or space station of some kind. Before we move on to block 4, I just wanted to take a quick little interlude to talk about some leaked concept art. So leaked concept art showing three new monsters for the new series was discovered online. It shows concept art of the Gastronaut, aka the Big Slug, a Hog Ven, aka a sort of grey gooey alien type thing, and a Jar Worm. This also could potentially coincide with a leak we got on Reddit which stated there'd be an episode involving some alien worms who drink Thor and also a pelican looking grey slimy creature who could quote unquote molt into copies of people and although I don't personally see it people have been saying that the hog event looks a bit like a pelican so maybe it could go with that. If this leak is in fact true then it means we'll get an episode based around time windows and dinosaurs as well. Moving on to block 4, this consists of episodes 2 and episode 6 and they will be directed by Ben Chesel. And there is a lot we know about these episodes. Episode 2 is set in the 1960s and Shooter Gatwa's costume for this story is a blue pinstripe suit and an afro wig which looks absolutely incredible. And there was also a promo picture of Millie Gibson as Ruby Sunday in 60s attire as well. Also featuring in this story is Jinx Monsoon as a villain with the musical piano motif, although we don't know the specific specifics of her character. There were lots of filming images we got of Shooty and Millie in their 1960s clothes, but also the most interesting bit about this episode is it is potentially a musical, or at least has musical numbers in it. Jinx Monsoon was overheard singing in the middle of a scene, and there's also been a casting call put out for a piano double for Ruby Sunday so they can have her be playing the piano. All of this points towards the episode being a musical, or at least having musical elements. This is also implied by the fact that Jinx Monsoon's villain has a musical and piano motif going throughout her. The most exciting filming images we got from this, however, were of the Doctor and Ruby skipping across the zebra crossing outside of Abbey Road. And if you don't know, which I'm sure you probably do, but I'll say it anyway, Abbey Road was where the Beatles recorded their albums, and one of their albums was called Abbey Road with the famous cover of the Beatles walking across that same zebra crossing. This once again goes with the music theme and could imply that the Beatles might be making an appearance in the episode but I'd wager this is just a fun easter egg instead of John, Paul, George and Ringo actually showing up. Several fans who were on the set that day also claimed that the episode was called The Devil's Chord. Episode 6 is set in Regency England and stars Jonathan Groff as well as Indira Varma as the Duchess. Susie Gatwa's costume in this episode is a red velvet coat with yet another wig and Millie Gibson's wearing a sort of Bell inspired dress. Beyond the setting, the costumes and the actual cast members, not much is known about the story otherwise. Block 5 consists of episodes 7 and 8 and will be directed by Jamie Donahue, who confirmed that they make up a two-part finale. These episodes will also feature the return of Bonnie Langford as Melanie Bush and the introduction to Lenny Rush playing Morris. But what does Shooty Gatwa's costume look like for this episode? Well, it consists of jeans, boots, a white t-shirt and a leather jacket. Not much is known about the actual plot of these episodes, although we got filming images of Shooty Gatra and Bonnie Langford on a carrot juice, carrot juice coloured moped driving through the streets around lots of extras who were running screaming. Multiple people claimed on set to have heard the words, this is where the Daleks come in. However, I'm slightly sceptical because A, we've actually got no proper confirmation that that was said, and B, even if that was said, they could be using Daleks as a code word to disguise the real villain. Although it would make sense for the Daleks to be in this finale, so I'm not completely ruling out that possibility. Beyond that, we know that episode 7 has at least one scene set in 1947 USA, which was around the time that the Roswell incident occurred. So the finale is looking to be somewhat connected to Roswell, although the filming images we saw of Shooty and Bunny were set in the modern day and not 1947 USA, so it could be set across multiple time zones. The Roswell incident has also been previously touched upon in the animated Doctor Who special Dreamland starring David Tennant, which the Doctor Who YouTube channel has been suspiciously uploading clips from for the past few weeks. That could also just be complete coincidence or could potentially be hinting towards the Roswell finale. Dreamland also had two sequel stories in the Sarah Jane Adventures, those being Prisoner of the Jadoon and The Vault of Secrets, which both explicitly name Roswell as the location of the crashed ship. So if they were to do a Roswell story, it would almost have to work its way around Dreamland and those two stories. It's not as simple as say something like Big Finish having Mary Shelley, which you can sweep under the rug very quietly. This is a fully fledged Doctor Who TV story having already tackled the Roswell incident. Of course, all we know is that there is a bit set in the USA in 1947, which in no way definitely confirms that Roswell is involved, although that is looking like the most likely scenario here. 
And that's pretty much all we know about each individual episode. Of course, a constant across all eight of them, or nine if you include the special, will be Murray Gold, who is returning to compose the music for the new series. And that pretty much concludes everything we know about Doctor Who series 14. What do you think about this? Leave your thoughts down in the comments section below. But in the meantime, please remember to like and subscribe. I've been Cyberman Alf, but from me for now, it's goodbye.